Item Number SCP-4778 Security Level 3 Containment Class Esoteric Secondary Class Archon Disruption Class Dark Risk Class Notice Special Containment Procedures Oceanic Task Force Delta-7 Bay Watchers is to follow the SCP-4778 parts during the migration to ensure safety from civilian or commercial interference. OTF Delta-7 has a two nautical mile restricted waters perimeter sustained under the guise of military funded scientific research. Aquatic Research Facility 98C is located in the SCP-4778 breeding ground in the Northern Pacific Ocean. Facility 98C is responsible for the safety of SCP-4778 instances during the breeding season. All newly reported instances of SCP-4778 are to be safely escorted to this facility. After evaluation, new instances are to be introduced to the SCP-4778 pod. The MTF Epsilon-31 Harpoon Hunters is currently seeking out and dismantling illegal whaling operations in areas of suspected SCP-4778 habitation. Description SCP-4778 are an anomalous subspecies of North Pacific humpback whales. Instances are nearly identical to baseline humpback whales, but possess bioluminescent stripes not found in any other currently known species of whale. Unlike non-anomalous humpback whales, whose diet consists of quail and small fish, SCP-4778 diet consists of human waste byproducts and oceanic pollutants. This has caused a deviation from normal humpback migration routes. SCP-4778 pods frequently traverse the Great Pacific Garbage Patch, a buildup of aquatic debris, trash, and other pollutants, approximately 800,000 square kilometers, created by man-made pollution and in North Pacific subtropical Gaia, before returning south to warmer waters for the breeding season. The pollutants consumed by SCP-4778 instances are processed into a biological slurry consisting of nitrogen, carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, and previously undiscovered compounds. This bio waste slurry is documented as SCP-4778-1. SCP-4778-1 has shown the ability to help support new aquatic sea life, repairing damage caused by the pollutant removed from the local ecosystem. The organ or system directly responsible for this process is currently unknown. Summary of SCP-4778-1 Test Results After SCP-4778-1 was determined safe, the following tests were done to evaluate its impact on aquatic ecology. 1984, 16th of March SCP-4778-1 is introduced into a tank of plankton. Within four days, the plankton multiplied approximately three times faster than the natural rate. 1985, 9th of July, SCP-4748-1 is introduced into a tank containing various subspecies of coral. Within two weeks, coral showed a 26% increase in growth rate compared to controlled sample. 1985, 20th of September, SCP-4778-1 is introduced into a tank containing two adult Pacific holoboot. Over a week, both subjects showed increased vitality and previously noted damage began repairing on a cellular level at an increased rate of 2-5%. to Over the next two months, both instances experienced an increase in fertility. 1987, 15th of May, SCP-4778 is introduced into a controlled aquatic ecosystem consisting of various flora and fauna. Long-term study concluded a 35% overall increase in ecosystem stability. All flora and fauna experienced increased birth and growth rates. 1990, 15th of January, 
SCP-4778-1 is consumed by D-409876, D-409876 experienced a 5% increase in digestive efficiency and a slight improvement of cholesterol and sugar levels. All testing indicates SCP-4778-1 has a beneficial impact on exposed biology and no negative results. In 2010, DNA analysis led to the discovery of the metagenetic DNA cluster responsible for the deviation of the SCP-4778 subspecies. The mutagen has been documented as SCP-4778-A. Extensive research into the exact nature and origin of this mutagenic cluster has been made, but no conclusive explanation has been reached. The time necessary for this evolutionary Deviation does not correlate with the favorability of the species food supply. SCP-4778-A shares key features found in man-made mutagens. Though the methods for producing SCP-4778-A were not developed at the time of discovery, current technology has proved incapable of duplicating the results. Discovery on December 13th, 1967, the following VHF radio communications were intercepted by a Foundation listening post in Hawaii. The broadcast was made by Captain Turner Lewis aboard the USS Lockfield to the U.S. Naval Command while on his routine observation route. Begin log. Contact. Lights from an unknown source. Identify. No response. Visual identification. Investigating. Proceed with caution. Fourteen bogies approaching ahead to starboard. Report. Contact. A known animal. Identify. Glowing whales. Repeat. Bogies or glowing whales. Copy. No action required. End log. Upon receiving the broadcast, a foundation exploration of the area led to the discovery of SCP-4778. By 1968, further investigation estimated a total species population of approximately 35,000 in the Pacific Ocean alone. Notice from the Foundation Parasitology Division. Due to the increase in whaling operations since the time of discovery, as of 2019, the current global SCP-4778 population is estimated to be under 500 instances, with only 153 currently under Foundation observation. Due to the beneficial impact SCP-4778 has on the environment and the low disruption caused by its anomalous nature, it is the stated position of the Perusology Division that drastic Foundation intervention is necessary and warranted to repopulate and preserve the species. SCP-4778 have the ability to help mitigate the immediate threat posed by oceanic pollution, which outweighs the necessity for normalcy in this situation. Dr. Kyle Slutler, Director, Parasology Division. Ethics Committee approved. Pending 05 approval.